All right, check it out. I've started making this uh, custom dog crate for Hype and for Lady. It's gonna be kind of like a double wide, double crate, but it's gonna look like furniture, not like a metal dog crate in our dining room. Um, one, it's gonna make the dogs happy. Two, it's gonna make Caitlin happy because it won't be so ugly in our in our new house, okay? So this right here is part of it I'm putting together. Um, I ended up getting a uh, Craig pocket hole jig to do pocket holes for all of these. I am cheap, so I'm doing it out of two by fours that I've sanded down and worked a bunch on. Um, the basic layout of it is gonna be uh, kind of openings that are gonna have rebar in between that are gonna make up the um, little parts of the, the wall. And then there's gonna be an opening right here that's going to be, let me get this junk out of the way. Um, an opening right here is gonna be the door that's gonna then flip open and be a way for the dogs to get in and out. And then a little divider. I'm putting the divider, I'm, I'm hiding it behind these three. I'm putting the divider on one side because Hype's bigger than Lady, so he's gonna have a little bit more room on this side. And then uh, Lady's gonna be from here over all the way to the end. I haven't, uh, haven't put this one on yet, but that's the gist of it. So Lady's door, Hype's door, plenty of room for both of them to do their thing. Um, Underneath this piece of where I'm working is where I'm actually gluing up the, the top. This is uh, almost done. This is the bottom the bottom part of the, the top of the crate. So it'll end up being, I'll go underneath here. It'll end up being this. It's all joined together and glued and clamped from yesterday. I still have three or four boards I need to add to it to make it the right width, but it's coming along. So for the bars that go on the crate, I made them out of rebar. I basically just took this uh, this rebar and cut it down to size using a um, angle grinder with a cutoff bit. Then I took it over here and uh, used this uh, brass wheel on the bench grinder. And I literally just had to go back and forth on every single piece, every surface, just go doo -doo -doo, back and forth over and over and over again flip it, do the other side. And then because of the little, uh, oh, let's see this focus. Because of the um, little grooves in it, I'll then have to flop it over here to get the last little bits off um, on the back side, and then flip it and do it again. Each piece ended up taking me forever. I, I literally have over like two hours just in uh, the prep for all of these. I didn't want to hit it with a rust encapsulator and then paint it because I just didn't trust it. So I cleaned it down to bare metal on all of them and then hit it with some of this uh, Rust-Oleum protective enamel paint. I wanted to make sure that it was uh, gonna cure enough so that if one of my dogs decided they wanted to lick on it or chew on it, that it would be really tough and uh, they wouldn't end up getting chips off that they could then eat and make themselves sick over. But they're turning out pretty sweet, look nice and pretty now. the front all set up, got the bars in place, everything's looking square and beautiful. Um, and then coming back over here to get some more of the tabletop done. Um, I put these little blocks on the side so I can use my shorter clamps to reach over. Um, but what I end up doing is I just take one of these that I pre-drilled some pocket holes into and uh, I'll butter up the inside with some glue along this edge here. And then uh, I slap it up against the next one, clamp it. Then I run the pocket screws into the front from the board before into the next board. And it ends up making this nice little, uh, this little slab. And then I'll end up sanding it down so it looks like one piece. So flip this over and see what the top looks like. Um, definitely not perfect, got a lot of sanding left to do. But the, uh, 
But the tank thing tried to warp on me, so I had to rig up some braces underneath it and uh, screw everything in so that way it wouldn't get curved. This one will be in the front edge of it. Once I sand it all down, it should look nice and smooth and pretty. All right, here's the progress so far. We got both the sides on. Basically, it's all framed out and ready to go. The doors are put together and assembled and ready for sanding. You can see this, this one's obviously not in place, but this one I have just sitting in the door so you can kind of see what it looks like. And there's gonna be hinges on it that'll open and close. But then from the top, what it'll end up being is uh, lady side is gonna be from here over and hype side is gonna be from here over. Um, Cause he's a lot bigger, he's gonna get a little bit more room. Next, I'll be putting on some bracing in the floor and putting the floor down, and then we'll be putting a back into it. And then finally, I'll be able to uh, get the tabletop finished, getting it sanded up, and we'll trim the edges so they're flush and pretty, and slap that sucker on top of here. And we'll have ourselves a custom piece of furniture for a dog crate. All right, I think I am almost done with the final sanding. What I've been doing, I started with the belt sander and got everything planed down nice and smooth uh, from board to board to get rid of the irreg irregularities. And then after I did that, I cleaned it up with a horrible and uh, went from like 80 down to 120 and so on. And uh, yeah, pretty smooth. I put some little uh, indentations, a couple of little places just to make it look like it's uh, more distressed, but I wanted it nice and smooth so that way uh, if we set stuff on top of it, we weren't getting splinters or junk and uh, make a nice tabletop. All right, so I got the framework for the bottom all set up and then I'm gonna place in the bottom once I get it cut on top. I got it all sanded down, the board's in for the back side and the bottom, but I got one last thing to do, almost forgot. I gotta put the divider in uh, to get between lady and hype. So work on that real quick. Finish it up. Good job, buddy. Okay, it's all done. <laughs> We're just getting started. So pretty much and final assembly got it almost all sanded down. Got the back in and the bottom part in. And it's all glued, screwed, and about ready for stain. Then I'll get the doors on, finish up the top, get it in, and we'll be ready to go. So here's a couple pieces all stained up and ready for the install. And I started on the back side. The back side I didn't sand as much, so it's gonna look a little more blotchy. But here is an almost finished product. Just get this stinking stain done and we'll be ready to put on the doors and get back installed in the house. I'm sweating to death, but I got the first few coats on a lot of the outside of the crate. The inside's gonna be a pain. Gotta finish off this last little wall. But so far, I like the color it's turning out. All right, guys, after having the baby, this thing got put on back burner, but I am wrapping it up finally. We just finished up the last few uh, coats of polyurethane. You can see it's getting just a little bit shiny. Looking pretty. Got it on the inside and the outside to protect it from the doggies walking in and out of there and us setting our junk on top. As you can see, I'm sweating like crazy. Um, I'd like to say it was on purpose that I was making this thing cure faster, but really it's just like 95 degrees outside today. Luckily the coats went on pretty nice and even and it's gonna turn out just like I wanted it to. Last thing's gonna be once it all dries and install the hardware, get the two doors on there and then I'll let it dry for a day or two 
and let the smell kind of get out of here because I don't want to bring that into my house stinking like polyurethane. And I'll finally have a finished project to show off. And here's the finished product. As you can see, the dogs are already loving it.